Hello and welcome to this Ear Hauler 2 tutorial series. Today I'm going to cover off AI pilots, how to hire them, how to fire them and how they can help you make money within your company. Uh, but before we get into it, a reminder that I'm using the X-Plane 11 version of Ear Hauler 2. Uh, but all these tutorials are totally applicable to both the FSX and P3D versions because they're all pretty much identical. So let's get into it. AI pilots. Okay, so computer controlled pilots, how do you get one? First thing you need to do is go up to the marketplace up the top there. You'll recognize this from uh, earlier tutorials where we bought some aircraft through the private sales and the aircraft pages. But this time we're clicking on crew and you're going to be presented with this page here. And what it will do is just list all the pilots that are currently available for hire. Now you remember in earlier episodes also that I talked about how your reputation, your company reputation affects certain things within the program and this is one of them. So the better reputation you have, uh, you'll have more pilots to choose from and they'll have, uh, they'll have more skills and be able to fly bigger and better aircraft. So that's one thing to take into account. And so when you're first starting off, if you're on a, in a quite a hard difficulty level with a low reputation, you might find basically none in here, but you might have one or two, but you won't have a lot. So what you need to do is just review some of the information here and make a decision on which pilot you think will be best for your company as you stand. So the first thing you need to take into account is their monthly salary. So this is how much you're going to have to pay this pilot every month, and that's whether they fly or not. That's just a set salary. So you've got to make sure you've got enough money in the bank to cover that on a monthly basis. In future episodes, I'm going to show you how you can set up reoccurring schedules to make sure that all your basic costs are covered, whether you log in or not. So we'll cover that off later. The second thing you want to look at is their current rank. So it goes from everything from PPL uh, right through up to you know uh, air transport pilot license, basically. So... The ranking system is a, is determined will determine, I should say, the type of aircraft they can fly. So down the bottom right hand corner, you can see which type ratings the AI pilot currently has. You remember type ratings from back earlier too. You remember you did your first type rating and you, you're probably now qualified for a Cessna 172 or something similar. So when you click on the pilot, you can see down here a list of aircraft that they are able to fly. And so that's going to be another consideration. You think about which uh, aircraft you currently have in your fleet or you're about to get and then match a pilot with that because there's no use paying $15,000 for a captain if all you need them to do is fly around a small aircraft. So you've got to take that into account. But you also got to take into account that these ranks will increase over time. So as the pilot completes more and more flights whether they be passenger or cargo their rank will increase and that will open up them the opportunity to uh, fly more aircraft you're also able to get them to do type ratings as they go so if they haven't quite got the aircraft you need you can always put them through a type rating exam and get them qualified so that's a, that's the second thing to take into account is their current rank the third thing is their m tow limit which is their maximum takeoff weight limit so essentially this is what they are happy to fly up to so uh, so for uh, uh, this uh, Hunter Tucker, he's happy to uh, take off with an aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of 55,000. So uh, that's one thing to take into account too. So if you're flying around in 747s and the person, for example, is only happy to fl fly up to a max maximum takeoff weight of 10,000, then they may not be the right person for you because they might only be able to fly the aircraft with, it on with only 10% cargo on it, for example. So that's another thing to take into account. So three things right there. So if we ever think about what we're doing right now, it, it doesn't really matter too much. I can select pretty much any of these uh, because I've got that fake amount of money in my bank uh, or I've put it on easy mode, so money isn't really a problem. Uh, but what I would do, like to do is um, the Piper Navajo is a, an aircraft that I would like to put somebody into uh, and go ahead and purchase. So down the bottom here, this is just by chance, David Heath, he's got the PA31, so there's... One guy who already has it, um, Victoria has it too. Plus she has a bunch of other different options too, including the Beechcraft, the Cessna 206 and the Navajo. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and hire her. She's only got, uh, she has got her ATPL, which is great in a 55,000 maximum takeoff weight. Uh, down the bottom here, it also gives you a bit of a description on what they're all about. Victoria has always maintained that she's from Dayton. Okay, whatever. Uh, she has been involved in athletics and has been known to dabble socialising with friends. Okay, whatever. So I'll go ahead and go hire pilot. 
yes, I do want to hire for 6,400 a month. And where do I want to base her? Yep, we'll base her at my current base. And there we go, we get the chair and we are all happy. Okay, when we've hired a pilot, we've got the, uh, we've got the uh, achievement. So what you do now is you go into company information, you go to pilot and ops, and if you click on Victoria right there, it will give you all the information. Uh, and if you look down here, you've got your pilot log, which will show how many flights that she completes, any jobs that you've assigned to her at the moment, passenger sectors that you've assigned, and we'll do that in a future video. That's a whole video in itself, and any current aircraft that she's currently in. So as your uh, computer control pilot completes a whole lot of flights, they'll get assigned extra skills that they can uh, basically be given. So if you click on skill assignment, you'll see at the moment in brackets it's that, that that's zero. If that's more than zero, then it means you're able to go into this sort of this uh, skill tree and uh, update their skills in certain areas. And so what I'd recommend is have take a look at the manual and get a good understanding on what all these different skills do. But they'll basically do things like, I mean, you can kind of um, see by the names here that if uh, the more stars that the person has here, they're going to obtain cheaper fuel prices for you. So that's a big advantage. Uh, uh, or better repairs, or sorry, faster and cheaper repairs, or they load cargo faster so you can turn aircraft around a lot faster. Uh, lower landing and departure fees. So as you can see, you attribute these uh, skills to your pilots and they're going to provide you with a number of advantages in your business that are either going to help you save money or save time. So at the moment, Victoria, she's got no skills to assign, uh, but sometimes you will have a number of skills that you need to assign to your computer control pilot, your AI pilot. Uh, so you just want to make sure that as they get um, awarded those, that you update those and, um, and decide where you want to distribute them. So hopefully that makes sense right there. And as you can see here too, just a little bit of a summary of the type ratings again. And say you had an aircraft that um, uh, in your f available that uh, she wasn't rated on, you just go type rate training. You, uh, here's an example, Cessna 172. It would uh, cost you $329, which not a lot. And it would take half a day of real time for her to be qualified for that. So you'd have to wait half a day in real time and then she'll be able to fly that aircraft for you so that's all pretty straightforward uh, you, you can add as many as you like in there uh, obviously you're going to make sure that your finance can cover their salaries but if you set this up correctly you can actually make quite a bit of money so that's what we're going to do next we're going to go ahead and pick up a Piper Navajo for our company uh, so I'll go into marketplace and aircraft and I will select a Piper Navajo. We have done a tutorial on how to do this, so we'll buy aircraft. I'll go ahead and set this all up. Remember, the best thing to do is set your aircraft up as a passenger aircraft because they can still do cargo flights, even when they're passenger configured. They can't quite carry as much cargo, but it means you can swap between the two things without having to worry too much. So I'll go and set that all up, and then when I come back, I'll show you how you can get your pilot flying and making you some money. Okay, here we are in the um, cargo jobs screen right here. And so I've just been reviewing to see what kind of jobs are available that we could assign to our AI pilot to complete. And what I've decided to do is make a flight from NZWM, which is Wellington, up to Ardmore NZAR. It's 258 uh, nautical miles. And the Piper Navajo at the moment in its current configuration can take 2,289 pounds of uh, cargo and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept two jobs here I'll accept the fertilizer accept the job yes uh, and the cell phones uh, there we go uh, accept job uh, what you could actually do is if you're just going to take one job you could have gone hey I'll just take the DVD players and then just go assign to AI down here uh, that's one way of doing it uh, but uh, I've gone ahead and obviously done it, uh, I, I want to select two jobs, so I've gone ahead and selected those two, so what you need to do now is go and set up your flight. So here we are in the accepted jobs tab, and we've got our two jobs sitting in here nicely here, so I, the first job I can go uh, assign to AI, uh, and select our aircraft, the PA31, OK. Uh, and our pilot, the uh, Victoria Hellman, choose the pilot, OK. And then I can uh, select our next job, assign it to the AI, boom. 
Uh, once again, the same, uh, the same situation. Uh, select the uh, Piper Navajo and we've assigned that job to uh, that pilot and that aircraft. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, and once your jobs have been assigned to your AI, what you can do is go up to your company information. Uh, you go to the Pilots and Ops tab and then it will show you uh, what's happening with uh, your pilots at any given time. So if we see here, we've got Victoria Hellman and her status is that she's got cargo loading at NZWN. So that's what we, uh, what we expected. Uh, and we can see here that she's got two assigned jobs right there at the moment. So what I'll do everybody is I'll just let this uh, run through for a little while and wait uh, for Victoria to get up in the air and you can see how thing, things work from that point of view. So I'll join you really soon. Okay, and as you can see here, the status for uh, Victoria Hellman is that she's now positioning uh, the aircraft to NZAR uh, in the PA-31. So it's saying that she's flying the Piper Navajo up to NZAR, which is Ardmore, and that's our destination. So if we jump across to cargo jobs and passenger routes and click on the overview map, as you can see, the two jobs that we assigned to Victoria are in green, which means they're now being flown. And in the map right here, you can see the little blue aircraft. Let me position this so we can all see this. And she's just taken off from Wellington. You can see the aircraft here on the map. And as she makes her way up the North Island to the destination of uh, Ardmore up here, uh, the aircraft will automatically update its position. So there you go. What I'll do is I'll let Victoria complete this flight and then we'll come back and we'll do a bit of a debrief on what things look like after the flight has been completed. Okay everybody, a quick update here and as you can see the cargo is now unloading up here at NZAR and Victoria has made it safely. And so what we need to do is just wait for that cargo to unload and then we can see what uh, what the upshot was in terms of the income earned. So we'll uh, do a quick cut here and we'll come back once everything's ready to go. Okay, great news everybody. Victoria has successfully completed the flight and you know that because her status is now idle. Uh, so the flight has been completed and uh, we take a look at the pilot log and it gives us a breakdown of all her activity. So she loaded up a cargo in Wellington. She then uh, arrived in uh, Ardmore, unloaded the cell phones, unloaded the fertilizer and she got those two job pass notifications. So nice work there by Victoria. If we go into our finance tab uh, and then go to the ledger, we can get a nice little breakdown of the income that she earned. So we can see that the expenses for the flight were the fuel at Ardmore and also the landing fees at Ardmore. So around about $370 there of expenses. But look at this income right here. 17000 for the uh, cell phones, 2500 for the uh, fertilizer. So that's over $20,000 of profit from that one flight right there. And that shows that these cargo flights that you set up for your AI pilots, they can be really, really lucrative. Uh, the only thing is you've got to set them up each time. And uh, in the next episode, uh, like I mentioned earlier um, in this video, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how to set up passenger routes, which um, is great over the long term for providing a lot of income, but not quite as lucrative on an individual basis. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The other thing to take a look at right here, go into company info right here. And we can see that our cargo reputation is now 62.40. So that's increasing just a little bit there. If we have a look at the breakdown of the log, you've got both the cell phone job and the fertilizer job. Uh, we started there at, uh, so we did start at 60.67, uh, six, sorry, 62, sorry. We started at uh, on our cargo rep. Look at the right one, Mace. Uh, and then it's gone up by 0.2 for both those uh, jobs that have just been completed. Overall, our overall uh, reputation is 60.80. So it's not increasing by a heck of a lot. Uh, it definitely increases by a lot more when you do the job yourself. But still, uh, you didn't have to do much effort there and you, you got a nice little um, reputation bump. So what you would do from here is you can go back into the overview map. Uh, and you could potentially uh, click on NZAR right here, and it will now tell you what flights are available from Ardmore. So there's a nice little return flight right here, actually, from, no, sorry, that is wrong. That's actually a flight from Wellington back up to Ardmore. So there's actually no flights at the moment due to leave Ardmore uh, to go anywhere uh, in the country. So 
you would have a couple of options. One, you could fly over to the Auckland airport, which is just a very short hop here, probably only 10 nautical miles, not even that, and, uh, and check out what jobs are going on there and maybe fly those. The other thing you could do to uh, earn a bit of money is, as we mentioned in one of the other episodes also, is you could buy some commodities in your current location and transport them to a, to a different location where you could sell them for more money. So right here we can see, actually there's a very short flight here, we can buy bakery goods here in Auckland Airport for $46 and just up the road here at uh, Fanua Pie, that's not very far at all, we could sell them for a profit of $12 a piece. Is that 58 Yes it is indeed. So there's a good example of buying uh, commodities low and selling them high. So that's another option that you could uh, go ahead and do. Otherwise you could just cruise around looking for some jobs uh, to assign to the AI. So it's really up to you but I mean I'd probably wait for the a good size job to, to uh, come up from Auckland and then get the AI pilot to fly it uh, back down south somewhere. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, that's how you go ahead and set up your AI pilots to fly some cargo jobs for you. Like I said, we'll cover passenger routes next time and that's a really great way of earning a whole lot of money and not have to do a heck of a lot. Uh, but I hopefully you did get something out of this tutorial. Please smash that like button down below if you did enjoy it. Um, put your comments down below and questions. Uh, and if you're new, please consider subscribing. And until next time everybody, take it easy.